can join with us to chant Mitta Sutta. <clears throat> May all beings be happy and secure. May all, all beings have, have happy minds. minds. Whatever, Whatever living, living beings there may be, without, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth. May all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, no despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate the boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world the heart of boundless loving friendliness. Above, below, and all around, constructed without hate and total resentment. Whether standing, walking, or sitting, lying down, or when awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here. Not falling into, into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision, removing the sexual sensual pleasures. Once come never again to birth in the womb. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay. Have a comfortable seat. Your head should be straight forward. Keep your palms together. Cut off the whole world. This is my meditation time. This is not the time to pay attention for fast experiences or future plans. Your mind is relaxing, also your body. You don't have anything in your mind. Your mind is not going through your memories or future plans. Mind is relaxing. Enjoy this relaxation. When you are controlling your hustle, bustles, busy situations, your mind is become calm and quiet. Peace and happiness is arising. Enjoying in this relaxation, develop your courage to practice meditation. As we usually start, we can start with loving friendliness meditation. Focus on yourself, focusing on yourself Generate loving penniness towards, towards yourself. Moving your mind head to toes. Generate loving penniness towards. May I be well, happy and peaceful.
you feel happiness is arising. You feel your mind is relaxing. You feel loving friendliness, compassionate thoughts are arising. We can share this loving friendliness thoughts with others. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors, be well. Happy and peaceful. We extended this metta thoughts. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. You are expanding your boundaries and taking as a one, generate loving pain in your thoughts. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful.
all living beings in the universe may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful.
May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this metta development, let us focus to practice on mindfulness of breathing meditation. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Peacefully breathe in, peacefully breathe out. When you are breathing in, you know you are breathing in. When you are breathing out, you, be, you know you are breathing out. Mindfully breathe in. Mindfully breathe out. When you are inhaling, you know where air is touching. Might be end of your nostril or upper lips. Also your belly. And you can aware what is happening with your lungs. Select a place, keep your mind there, watch your natural inhalation and exhalation. Your mind became a gatekeeper to watch your inhalation and exhalation. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath. We inhale a short breath, we inhale a long breath. We exhale a short breath, we exhale a long breath. Be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath. Mindfully breathe in, breathe out. Your mind, your breath is becoming subtler and subtler. Don't lose your mindfulness. Focus on your breath. The breath is very important for, for your life. But this breath is not me, not mine, 
not myself. In here, you can see a process, mentality and materiality. Also, breathe in, breathe out. Through all these activities, we can see a living being. This living being is in a process, changing and changing. This living being is in a process. Conventionally, we use word. This is a living person, living being. Absolutely only a may process. This process under three characteristics, impermanence, suffering and selflessness. Through your breath, you can be aware of these three characteristics. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Whenever you notice, the mind has lost its meditation object. Come back and start again. Mindfully breathe in. Mindfully breathe out. Your heart is full with joy, happiness, tranquility. And join with this status, practice mindfulness of breathing meditation.
दुखपता दुख भयपता निभया शोक पता निशोक हंतु सबे पी पानी नो May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. <coughs> now we can continue our some discussions yesterday i started to discuss singalova the sutta and first we started to talk about satar karma klesh four defilements of action that i have ended as you know buddha the buddha introduced different methods for singala in this method first thing that buddha advised not to do abstaining from killing stealing sexual misconduct and lying we discuss yesterday all these uh, precepts uh, one by one then i like to continue it first uh, why we should observe precepts these are part of precepts because we are trying to develop our tranquility concentration peaceful happy mind this is our main purpose and goal in satipatthana sutta chittanupassana it has a it, there is a explanation like this here bikku understand a mind with lust as a mind with lust a mind without lust as a mind without lust a mind with hatred as mind with hatred a mind without hatred as mind without hatred a mind with delusions as mind with delusion a mind with delusion as a mind with without delusion contracted mind as a contracted and a distracted mind as distracted and exalted mind as exalted and unexalted mind as unexalted a surpassable mind as a surpassable and unsurpassable mind as unsurpassable a concentrated mind as concentrated mind and unconcentrated mind as unconcentrated mind a liberated mind as liberated mind and unliberated mind as unliberated mind how should we develop our tranquility this is the stage that we should accomplish to accomplish this stage we should have pure clean action actions if you don't have pure and clean actions there is no way to develop our tranquility concentration into this level if you don't have that concentration in that level then 
you don't know what kind of thoughts are arising in your mind what kind of thoughts are uh, uh, going through your mind you don't know your awareness is not not strong not, not strong not not strong enough awareness when you are developing your awareness as a result of that awareness the deepness of your, your awareness you have, you you have your tranquility then then you know what is happening in your mind if you are noticing oh your mind full with delusion as a mind with delusion then you know i am not supposed to maintain this kind of mind my purpose my goal is to eliminate this defilement then right away you can develop your courage through your mind uttanavato satimato developing your courage developing your mindfulness and then you ready to work ready to work on that path to reduce to control to eliminate your delusion if you are not in that tranquility level then you don't know what is happening that's why simply some people sometimes with their anger ready to say something to others in some conversation and some social activities when you done that later on you ready to think oh why i did say that i'm not supposed to say that you are suffering yourself you are not happy about your action what you done what you use to say something to that person or someone who was with you why this happening because our mind does not have concentrate concentration established as a result of we don't know what is happening with our mind we don't know what kind of thoughts are arising what kind of thoughts uh, what kind of thoughts is there what what kind of thoughts are there you don't know because your tranquility is not there we should abandon these defilements taking life stealing sexual misconduct and lying and we can purify our actions for what to purify our mind spread establish peace and happiness and particularly tranquility that's why buddha advised to singala you as as a aryan vinaya aryan discipline you not supposed to do these four kind of activities which are directly destroy your tranquility if you don't have that tranquil tranquility then you don't have clear mind you don't have clear mind mean you don't have you are not with the noble eight pole path that's why buddha started this uh, special advice the, with this special advice to singala and then move on secondly buddha explain there are four other things what are the four cause, causes of evil from which he refrains evil action springs from attachment ill will folly fear we call it satar agatiya these four things we are in singalavada sutta in in singalavada sutta these four things are very important 
attachment it is a greed it is there is a greed attachment mean greedness is here attachment ill will uh, ill will mean hatred attachment and then hatred ill will and uh, chanda dvesha baya fear or chanda dosa baya moha moha mean ignorance these four thoughts are the thoughts that you are driving into wrong directions unwholesome way if you don't know what kind of thoughts are there in your mind then you don't know what is happening with your behavior in dhammapada it says mind is the leader mind is the porana mind is the leader mind is the porana we are living under this mind if you are doing something with wicked mind then your your actions is not pure clean action that action would be harmful action driving into wrong directions unwholesome way so attachment or desire is one of fact which is pushing your mind to do some wrong thing so we are trying to develop our peace we are trying to practice noble eight pole path when we are practicing noble eight pole path we should have please a peaceful and clear mind to have peaceful and clear mind yes we should eliminate desire chanda you have desire or attachment that's why in karniyamitta sutta there is a one particular quality that we should have kuleshu ananogiddo not attached to families this stands to directly address in the monks but even lay person also can get that mean into their life buddha said to monks you are depending on someone else supports even though you're not supposed to develop your attachment or oh, this family always provide in my requests and so i have to develop my so uh, metta particularly for them you're not supposed to be that kind of person and same way oh he is my son he is, uh, she is my daughter oh because oh it's okay to do some mistake oh, in this manner if you ready to accept their wrong actions and wrong sometimes wrong views wrong suggestions because of your daughter or son this is the way how attachment driving into wrong way whether your son or daughter your husband or wife your brother or sister it doesn't matter wrong thing is wrong unwholesomeness is unwholesomeness wholesomeness is wholesome you can't change it because this is belongs to universal law this law is established this is eternal law no one can change it therefore if you are living with attachment then you are ready to make excuses for that oh oh he is young he is young without saying no oh, he is my brother he is my uh, sister he uh, uh, see is he is my sister or oh, he is my son 
without saying that you ready to use verb oh he is or she is very young little they not they don't, they are not growing up to understand it therefore that is okay all these excuses coming through you because of that attachment so in this manner we can't practice noble eight pole path it is a straight forward way there is no excuses to do any slight even slight wrongs but we ready to make some excuses using our uh, this is these kind of uh, unwholesome things that we have in, holding in our mind attachment it is attachment come through your desire but we don't know it so we ready to accept some behaviors which is which is harmful which is not proper way uh, proper actions but we ready to accept it because of our attachment and we can see this attachment how harmful this attachment to the society we can see we can see through uh, in, in general lives general lives you had because of your chanda because of your attachment if someone uh, in political way if someone running uh, for someone becoming a candidate and then he is uh, he became a candidate and then he is asking you a uh, vote to become a president or become a minister or become a congressman become a senator or become a mayor then if that person ask uh, asking you vote through your party which you like uh, which is you are engaging then you are not ready to think about his weaknesses or his strongness because he is coming from your party oh he is in my party therefore i suppose i i suppose to help him to win why this is attachment then without searching about that person without thinking about that person without investigations that person without looking his uh, uh, policies you ready to support that person because of attachment if it's happened how would be the results very dangerous this is very mundane example and then when we turn into in super super mundane level then how would be there there is no way to uh, uh, give any excuses because of our attachment we have to be very key, uh, very careful we have to be very uh, clean and clear with this attachment as uh, chittanupassana mentioned when you are engaging with some activities because of your attachment you are not able to uh, do something in wholesome way then your mind can understand you have to have that ability oh yes this is attachment i not supposed to develop that attachment coming through desire and because of that att attachment anger will develop you you know everything according to chittanupassana this is the way how we have to get rid these things that's why attachment is harmful attachment is harmful you become a biased person because of your attachment becoming a biased person there is no chance to maintain happiness to develop your happiness or peaceful mind always it will cause un to arise unhappy thoughts and unbalanced lifestyle therefore attachment we should control our attachment we should uh, reduce our attachment we should eliminate our attachment chanda desha the second one desha uh, anger or ill will 
anger is very dangerous you know that if you are living with ang ang uh, anger it's blocking completely our thinking ability you don't if you don't have a thinking ability it's mean you are not penetrate the reality you are not to realize the truth universal truth universal truth is truth there is no second truth there's only one truth to realize that truth you should have clean and clear mind that clean and clear mind we can develop developing developing we can develop uh, ability to think deeply and widely very pure mind would be that mind that is the mind that we want to cultivate so if you are living with anger then there is no opportunity to clean and clear mind according to depending on origination you can see if you are living with anger what kind of thoughts would be there unhappy thoughts directly will arise there there is no doubt about that if you are living with anger unhappiness will be there that's that is depending origination explanation but you are putting effort to have a peaceful happy life but anger is there because of that anger you are not able to develop your happiness so we have to treat that anger developing that anger there is no way to develop your wholesomeness or your concentration tranquil tranquility first we have to address the anger anger is one of root root of defilements one of roots of defilements so we have to address the anger without addressing without take care in the anger there is no way to develop our tranquility our concentration according to depending origination it must mean sati idang hoti when anger is there unhappiness and uh, 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 unwholesome thoughts is here when anger is not there we don't have unhappy unwholesome thoughts this is very clear that's why buddha buddha said to singala you not supposed to have these things you should eliminate these things from you to do i mean without engaging with meaningless rituals to develop your insight and uh, to practice uh, as a real person third one is chanda dvesha bhaya bhaya fear <clears throat> if you are living with fear living with fear mean there are there is a meaning with that angutra nikaya tika nipata angutra nikaya tika nipata buddha was explaining uh, bikave balato bayanu pajjanti fear arise through foolish people foolish mean who undeveloped their mind they are foolish it's mean they don't have developed mind so they develop fear they are in their mind and in the world so because of that situation that that fear no one have clean and clear mind they are living with doubt because of their fear who oh, who is coming to me who is going to kill me who is going to steal my things that belongs to you 
so many doubts will be there why you are living with fear if you are living with fear even you can't sleep well you can't sleep sleep well you don't have good sleep mean you are not able to develop your strength and courage you are you become very weak person now you can see how powerful a thought fear fear is a thought that thought is very powerful to weak our whole activities each and every activities that's why buddha said to that person you are not supposed to develop your fear try to control it eliminate it reduce it reduce and eliminate your fear that's why state of enlightenment is a state fearless state you don't have fear when someone became arahant even that person don't have fear for his life if someone try to kill he don't have fear if if someone still in he the life is the most valuable thing for the person if that person doesn't have any fear for his life if someone try to take it then how he has fear to protect his belongs he don't have this kind of peaceful established situation you can see through enlightenment fear is one of dangerous thoughts because it's uh, because of fear you are going to live with doubt when you are living with doubt uh, there is no way to develop your tranquility tranquility so as you know in pancha nivarana kama chanda vyapada uddacha kukkucha vichikicha that uddacha kukkucha situation is very i mean very close to this fear fear create doubt doubt help to have that uddacha kukkucha restlessness that restlessness because of that restlessness you don't have thinking ability you don't have thinking ability mean you can't realize you can't penetrate without realizing there is no way to achieve enlightenment so our goal is achieving enlightenment that is our goal if you are living with fear mean you don't have that opportunity you don't have uh, opportunity to develop your mind into that level so fear is one of dangerous it is also come through uh, your defilements so we have to address our fear to eliminate that fear from your mind to develop our mind and chanda desa bhaya moha the last one folly or ignorance not knowing this is very dangerous around the world all over the human society all these unhuman unhumanistic actions happening because of ignorance and desire ignorance and desire is the main reason for all these unhumanistic actions and reactions people as a human being they may not able to understand their humanity if they are living with ignorance when they are ignorance as a result of their ignorance they don't know 
the nature they don't know the natural law they are not a, they, there is no way to realize impermanence suffering selflessness because of their ignorance we are full with ignorance that's why we are not able to realize these three characteristics these three characteristic are the things that we should realize but if you are ignorance there is no way to realize that these three universal truth or this universal truth so we should get rid from our mind these uh, fear also other uh, attachment and ill will and fear and uh, folly ignorance eliminating these four facts from your mind we have opportunity to develop our concentration our tranquility and the wisdom then we are able to realize as a result of that this mentality we uh, mind we are able to realize the truth co uh, 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 for noble truth we can realize realizing for noble truth we can attain enlightenment now it is clear why would the advice to singala to refrain these four things these four things what are the four causes of evil from which he refrains this is the things that we discuss now i think that's enough for today i we already passed the time we will continue our discussions not tomorrow uh, in day after tomorrow uh, tomorrow you will have a pre day and then in tuesday we will start to discuss again our uh, this dhamma sermon singalo vada sutta using singalo vada sutta thank you very much joining with us and if you have any questions you can write us ask bante at bahavana society dot org using that email and then we can discuss uh, further more things uh, if you need any uh, clarification regarding the dhamma desana or discussions we can uh, you can write us using that email uh, okay thank you very much now we're going to wind down to the program uh, now it is time to share merits first upon we can think about departed relatives friends family members pets rejoicing these merits may they have peaceful happy life may they able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration to share merits with the paratwan say sadhu 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 around the world who are suffering from any sicknesses including corona may they recover soon may they have a peaceful happy life having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 deities who protest this world rejoice these merits rejoice in these merits may they have peaceful happy life may they able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of these merits may be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration we can say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deed may I never join with the police may i join with police with the wise 
until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Good night to West. Have